Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Mr. Play Color right here. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys, uh, those who've been following through the lighting series. You know, we started on the issue of lighting and yeah, I just thought to interrupt the series to just present to you uh, this old boy. Uh, this is the Godox. SL60W, uh, it's it's a it's an old light uh, and it gives you continuous lighting. So this is for our friends who do mostly videography, but even in photography, it comes in really really handy. So you might be thinking, why am I talking about this old uh, light? It's been around for some years, maybe even four years. At the time of release, uh, this came out at around uh, 750,000 Ugandan shillings. Yeah, I like to refer on the Ugandan market. I think you can convert to dollars. Uh, currently, you will still get it new for about 700,000. That's maybe about 180 dollars. Uh, yeah, USD. Yeah, the SL60 comes with a number of features, but I would like to, uh, to talk about how bright this light is. Now, this is interesting. When you compare this light with uh, this, this is an LED light. These are the traditional LED lights uh, that we've been using for, you know, a long time. Now, this one here uses a, it's called a chip on board, yeah? If I just open it here for you guys, you can see. So this chip is what casts the light here. Uh, these help to um, keep the keep it a bit cool. I don't know what these are called exactly. I've lost the name. But yeah, so these really, really help uh, to keep it cool. Yeah, so guys, this light will produce 4,100 lux. I think that's how they measure the intensity of light. Uh, 4,100 lux uh, at one meter, yeah? I mean one meter of, uh, if you're far away, you're not going to enjoy the benefits of this light, but at a distance of one meter, you get that capacity when it's at full brightness. So this is a pretty amazing light. This SL60W has a CRI of 93%. Uh, CRI basically means color rendering index, like the accuracy of color. Yeah, that is how it's measured. CRI 93. It stacks up really well, uh, you know, in comparison to other lights on the market. There are more expensive lights on the market, which actually also have the same CRI. So it means the SL60 uh, has some really good accuracy when it comes to rendering of color. Yeah. So guys, this light doesn't use any batteries. You just have to power it directly uh, into your wall and uh, yeah, put on the socket and all. So yeah. I think that is sort of a, a, a con, uh, but in my experience, I've not really had any issues because for the amount of light that you get from this uh, this uh, SL60, you know, you would pretty be much happy with the with the with the impact. Okay, yeah, um, it doesn't come with a remote out of the box it doesn't come with a remote but you can uh, buy the remote separately if you have more of uh, maybe two or more of these lights you can control them remotely also the other thing this light does not uh, dim down all the way to zero if you need to dial it it starts on 10 percent and it goes all the way to a hundred yeah so that's something that you will notice sometimes you might want to dim if you're in a situation of dimming all the way to zero it's not going to do that but i find 10 percent to be quite you know dim so i don't really have any issue other people that's a deal breaker uh yeah so this is a pretty 
uh, durable light uh, it has plastic the build quality is not uh, like over the moon but it's solid enough because this has for me it's be it worked for about three years now and it's still working just fine I've not had any issues of breaking though I know there's better builds out there uh, and later in this video I'll be talking about maybe other options that you can consider yeah but this for me uh, has done the job and by the way even if you're a photographer and you're not only into video this this can give you some constant light if you're doing maybe photos of babies you know babies do not do well with flashes and you know strobes and all that so you might want to invest in constant light and this is uh this is one of those lights that will give you something good uh, i think in one of the lighting series i'll show you uh, i'll do for you a video on how i actually use this to take photos so you guys uh, the other thing is this light uses a bowen's mount yeah and uh, the advantage of that is that you can use a number of modifiers uh, so straight out of the box you come with this modifier right here okay uh, you can add other modifiers you can add soft boxes you know uh, if you've been using these kind of lights you know this very well so that's quite an advantage uh, yeah so some of the cons that I could say about this light maybe it's not as as portable uh, for those of you who might want smaller lights but it's again it's not too heavy so maybe it's not a, a con for some people yeah but if you usually like to travel extremely light then maybe this is not the best light for you um yeah but in my experience i've not had issues because every time i have to use it then it's usually bigger projects i use this for weddings i use it for you know interviews yeah and uh, there's many ways you can use this light uh, the other issue maybe can be fan noise yeah because uh it has a fan inside and maybe because it's a bit of old technology but for me i've not had that much of an issue the the fan noise uh found it to be okay uh in situations where maybe there's a bit of fan noise then that's also something you can fix in post-production especially if you're doing like those uh videos where you need mm, crisp clean sound but personally i've not had any issues because most of the time i'm using it for uh like wedding weddings and and uh yeah uh, that's mostly b-roll so i've not had so many of those issues of uh, fan noise i want to give my conclusions on this light this light uh is a great buy for beginners for someone who's getting into the industry uh, if you're a ugandan photographer or a filmmaker and you want to get started this is actually a very good buy Seven hundred thousand right now you can get yourself a new one on the used market you probably get this light for about six hundred thousand between five hundred fifty to 700 you will get yourself this light on the used market yeah uh, but maybe also to end with some recommendations if you feel you can afford something better then i would recommend the amaran 100d the amaran 100d i don't have it here maybe one day i'll make a review on that uh, it's actually quite powerful uh, though it's slightly uh expensive uh it's slightly higher than this so the amaran 100d is going to cost you for under 1 million shillings here on the ugandan market so it can actually be a good buy the difference is about 300 000 or maybe 250 
that's the difference so you can decide whether you want to get yourself the sl60 uh, or the Amaran 100D. The Amaran 100D has some really good advantages. It's a lot brighter than this. Yeah, for that price point of uh, under 1 million Ugan shillings. Anyway, I just want to end this video right here. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Yeah, otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.